fishing accessories. For some people, fishing is a pastime. For others among us, it's a serious sport. However you perceive it, fishing is enjoyable when you've got the proper accessories to use. Here's a list of some of the considerations to think about. Often, there's a nice spot to fish from, the shore of a pond, a lake, a stream, or a river. Other times, you'll need to consider what kind of transportation you'll need to get over the water. The canoe is the oldest craft. It is the traditional vehicle of the American Indian and has great traditional value, but that does not mean it is the best kind of water transportation available. A canoe can be tippy at the best of times and especially hard to handle in the wind, but paddling or drifting along lakes is easy to approach good spots to fish undetected. A small rowboat without a motor is considered the best kind of boat to use since you can stand up in it to, eat, to cast. Although it is best to row to the spot where you intend to fish, a small trolling motor is handy for traveling some distances. Larger pleasure boats with outboards are also recommended, but a boat with high sides is best as big lakes and broad rivers are prone to winds that can whip up big waves. You will also need to pick out some quality footwear. This becomes especially important if you're going to fish by the side of a lake. Hip boots are the most practical for this as they can be rolled down if you're not wading. While hip boots can also be used for stream wading, chest or hip waders are traditionally best here. When choosing chest or hip wader boots, select ones that have a loose fit. Having waders that are too tight could restrict leg motion and undo stress on the seams could leave you wet. The proper jacket is also a necessity. Jackets come in two basic lengths, long and short. The long style is designed for fishing from a boat or wading in shallow water. If you're planning to use chest waders, it's recommended you use a short jacket, since the bottom of a long jacket would drag in the water. You should select a jacket with generous pockets for carrying lure boxes and other accessories. A hat with a visor is another good idea because you will have your eyes on the water and need some kind of shade. The Avid Angler has three stashes of lure and tackle box containers. The first stash is for the home stockpile. The second and larger one is for the boat. And the third stash is for the car. That way you will always be covered in the event of a loss or other mishap. It's a good idea to buy a large supply at the beginning of the season, too, so you'll have lots on hand, especially if you like to fish at night. For more articles and tackle specials, click the link below this video.